Hey everyone, this is Jeremy from Instalod. Today we have something special for you guys, especially for our Sonic fans out there. Sonic Frontiers is a next generation stage clear type action game that evolves the Sonic game mechanic into a playable world map. In this video, we take a look at how the team at Sega used Instalod to create an expansive world playable on a wide range of platforms with immense savings in both time and cost. In Sonic Frontiers, the game allows players to traverse a vast field with Sonic's unique supersonic action, solve puzzles in battle on the island, and enjoy traditional high-speed platforming action in what is called the cyberspace. The island is dotted with a very large number of assets, including numerous spooky enemies, unique Sonic gimmicks, and mysterious ruins. As this is the first time in the Sonic series that the player can view the island from any 360 degree view, it was a major challenge to create a landscape that would allow Sonic to move at high speeds without breaking up or dropping out. To do so, the team needed to provide LOD models for nearly every asset. Here you can see how a few of these LODs were generated using Instalod for Maya. If each LOD were to be created manually, this would take approximately five days to adjust the reduction in skinning for each level of detail, as opposed to the one day that it would take in Instalod to create a set of LODs for the entire model. With nearly 70 such enemy models, such as this one, the manual work alone would take 1,050 days, and that's only for this set of enemy assets. With Instalod, this time would be shortened to only 70 days, a massive amount of reduction in man hours. For background production, nearly 80% of all assets underwent automated LOD generation. Sonic Frontiers was released for all major gaming systems, each with a different set of performance requirements. The team was able to largely solve the challenge of performance on all platforms by creating presets in Instalod. They were able to prepare profiles with the appropriate reduction level for each platform and process each asset as needed. Automation of the process from polygon reduction to implementation resulted in significant cost savings. Instalot also perfectly fits the artist workflow. Besides automation, we also see how an artist can work with Instalot directly inside of Maya. Scaffolding objects are often placed in large numbers. A significant amount of vertex reduction is required to avoid processing failures no matter how many objects are placed in the scene. This is the perfect application for Instalot's baking workflows where properties such as translucency can be transferred onto the simple box shape. The team at Sega stated that Instalot was an innovative tool that helped them by being extremely accurate and dramatically sped up their development pipeline. With Instalot, artists were able to focus on quality improvement work instead of wasting time on non-creative tasks. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Instalod, please visit our website and follow us on Twitter. You can find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.